question. So, so we're st- staying live? We're live right now on the oh, podcast. Perfect. And we're live right here. Oh my gosh. We're live everywhere. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great time to be alive. Welcome to the podcast. And if you're tuning in on Instagram stories or Instagram live, welcome. The Own Your Eating Podcast brought to you by... Happy a Camper? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say Own Your Eating, but Happy Your Camper. Shout out to them. Our camper should be coming... In a week? Is that right? Yeah, we're, we're cutting everything pretty close. I to know. <laughs> the camper is getting delivered next Monday. Not next Monday. You know what next Monday is. It's someone's birthday. It is someone's birthday. If you're, if you're tuning in <laughs> on Instagram story and you're wondering what to get, the guy that's got everything, just cash. <laughs> <laughs> just send cash. Or more Oreos. Yeah. yeah, donuts or cash. <laughs> there you go. Those are the only two gifts I accept. But um, yeah, <laughs> whenever people say next Monday... Get confused. Yeah, but that's the next Monday. It's a week on Monday. That's a what? That's how you, we would say it. You a say week on Monday. Is which one? Is the following Monday. Right, so the fo- a week on Monday is um, June 12th. Correct. My birthday is June 5th, for those paying attention. And, and June 13th, we're in Sarasota. At Synergy Fitness. Yeah. My buddy Justin is hosting us, and we've gotten great feedback about that. But the point is, the camper is being delivered... The day before. The day before that. I called... This is what people don't realize about what we're doing. They're like, oh, they're going to be on the road. No big deal. Yeah. (laughs) A, we had to get a new car. We literally had to trade in my favorite car... My baby Prius. Aww. I love in that. Your favorite blue color. In that, I had to go from a color that I loved to a color that you loved. Hey. Hey, what? Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what the rest of your life will be like. Oh, great. So we got. I went from the Prius. We had to trade it in. We got a Subaru, the Subaru Outback, which I love, by the way. Good. I love this. Thank God. (laughs) It was, it hurt my heart because I'm, you know, I'm a big proponent of living within your means and, you know, saving, not spending outside of what you should. So I had the Prius, which was a 2012, and I was like, I'm going to drive this bad boy for 30 years. (laughs) Like, I love, you know, it's, this thing will crap out on me. And, um, and then you made me trade it in and get another car payment. Now, good thing about Subaru. 0% 0% interest. It's like free money. Free money. So That's how I would look at it. How many of you watching right now are like me? Like, I don't spend a lot of money. Do I spend any money? No. I won't. This is, I had this t-shirt since 1994. And I wear it every day. I love it. I got it at the Salvation Army for $2 in college. Um, so, anyway, we had to get the new car. Because the Prius couldn't tow. Mm-hmm. Then we, I've been dealing with the camper... That lady, you heard me on the phone call. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most stressful phone calls. I felt sorry for that girl. I know nothing Laura, about this. Laura, if you're listening, <laughs> you're a legend. I don't know how you tolerated people like that. <laughs> Ema, I'm sure she gets worse calls. I just don't know anything about campers. <laughs> it was very evident from... The millions of questions you are asking her. Well, we're going to be living in this thing. I needed to make sure, you know. So evidently, we got a great camper, though. So we've got the new Subaru. We've got the Happier Camper. If you're listening to this podcast, you're watching us on Instagram, go to Happier Camper. Wait till we're done. And uh, But check out Happier Camper. It's a They're sweet little... so cool. It's 70 square feet, which is small. Is that all? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be on top of me. Le- but how much is it? Well, is legit- this part of your plan? If this camper is rocking, <laughs> don't come and knock it. Um, how, how, how much what? I was gonna ask how big is a tiny home usually? A Just tiny like- home is typically, like, uh, the definition of a tiny home is usually less than 300 square feet. All right. So, because we've been interested. So if we can live in the camper, then we can handle a tiny home. Uh, if we can live in the camper, a tiny home is like a mansion. <laughs> I mean, it's literally four times the size. So, you know, we've, we've been considering a tiny home. Anybody listening or, or watching thought about the tiny home? You know, we watch documentaries about it. If you search YouTube, like tiny house listings, some sweet, sweet tiny homes. So and, pretty. You know, the truth is we have this 
I mean, we don't have a large house in Florida here. It's like 2,000 square feet. But we yeah, it's use, a long level. We hardly, we use the bedroom and the kitchen. That's really it. Mm -hmm. And I use the bathroom. And the garage. Yeah, we use the garage for working out. But at the same time, if we didn't, we'd be fine. You know, you can put a little covering. We go to the gym now most days anyway. Mm -hmm. But the point is, you don't need all this space. No. We do use it because the dog's... Fart a lot, <laughs> and we need to get that in. helps having a lot of space. What about helps that with farty smells? That silent one that Marley dropped last night is like it's Sss. not silent. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, like silent, but it's very audible. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the wind. <laughs> she's a, she'll be she's fourteen. She just don't give a f anymore. She'll just <laughs> fart, poop. She eats poop, whatever she wants to do. <laughs> Old lady, she'll sit outside and just bark at the kids. Yeah. Like, kids, keep it down. <laughs> and she doesn't, it's not like she's trying to sleep. She just sits there barking. So anyway, point is, Subaru, check out the Happier Camper. I had to get a hitch. Yeah, so, wait, you ordered that yesterday. Well, here, When's it coming in? Four to five business days. <laughs> <laughs> Jay hopped on a call yesterday thinking he was just going to be able to pick one up. The place is called Naples Custom Hitch. Yeah, so Custom. I thought they just would have hitches lying around. Like, that's what they sell. If your store <laughs> name is Hitch, you have hitches just like you have a shop full of hitches. So you would go in and select your hitch. Yeah, like, oh, I like that one. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> right? Like, do you go to a donut shop and I go, hold on, four to five business days. We'll get you a donut. It's a little different. So point is, we should get that it's next like week. high-end, very specific. What size ball did we need? Two inch. Two inch ball. With many, seven something or others. Yeah, seven pin connector. That's a. I had to. Know I was that. listening. You were listening because I don't think the camper has brakes on it. Mm. Probably something we should have looked at, but we also <laughs> then have to go to the DMV <laughs> to get the license plate put on the back. We have to register. We probably have to call our insurance company too. I also have to take my driver's test. Yeah, you've been saying that. I, I have a license. I just don't have a Florida license. Are you? Yeah, so I had to do all the driving. No, I can drive. I have an international You've been license. driving since you've been here. I can drive. <laughs> yeah, that's debatable. You have a license. Whether or not you can drive is debatable. You're, I don't let you drive the new car. Well, I like the Subaru because it beeps at you when you cross over the line. You don't touch the new car. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the, the Subaru basically drives for you. Yeah. It's great. It just like breaks and right. keeps you within your lanes. Uh, what else does it? Yeah, I've only driven it once. Since you we drove got to it. the wedding dress shop the other day. I know that was one time that you let me drive it. I wasn't with you. When exactly. I'm with you, I drive. It's the man. That's what men do. We drive, right, men? Who's listening? Charles, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, there's a lot of nuance going on before this tour kicks off. Yes, a lot. We have to then pack this camper. Yeah. What, what are some things we need to bring on this trip? So if you're listening, I want you to shoot us a message. If if you, Thanks, Charles. If you're, um, Jay wants to bring kettlebells and dumbbells. We got to work out. <laughs> we're going to be at gyms everywhere we go. But there are going to be times like we're staying. So, you know, we're going to hit the road. We're going to CrossFit boxes. We're All going right. to some other gyms. But there are going to be times where we, we're going to be in Georgia for a week, not necessarily... The, the, the shower is on the outside of the camper, Amanda. So there is a shower. So if anybody wants to I didn't see realize our daily showering ritual. <laughs> yeah, somebody was like, see if the shower in a bathing suit? I was like, no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I shower on the side of the road. I've yeah. showered outdoors like that before, like at um, like surf spots, like surf yeah. beaches. Where they just I mean, it's really your rinse. I mean... I think the camper holds like five gallons of water, yeah. so you're not taking a very and long it's shower. Just if you're really stinky. Yeah, so good idea. So we have to download our podcasts. Um, obviously, we listen to our own podcast. But I, I listen to a lot of podcasts she doesn't like to listen to. So, like wrestling. Yeah, I like to listen to wrestling podcasts <laughs> and, mix, and MMA, MMA podcasts. But I downloaded um, a couple of new ones that I think you'll like. Obviously, for those listening, most people have listened to Serial. Did you listen to Serial? No, I heard of it. It was really good, but they have other ones, so we'll listen to those. Cool. We'll check out. Um, we listen to it. We use a company called Blinkist. Yeah, we'll get ahead. She puts headphones on as soon as we get in the car. 
We use a company called Blinkist. We have them on items we love on our website, ownyoureating.com. And Blinkist is really awesome. Yeah, it's like a cliff note version to a ton of awesome books out there. Right, so if you're like us and you want to read a lot, but you just don't have the time, go to Blinkist. I think our link gives you some sort of trial, like three-day trial period. Um, And then you can... Literally, these books are broken down into like 15, 20 minute chunks. Yeah. You get the main points of them. And then I always find, okay, if I really like what I was listening to, I might go and buy the book. Yeah, exactly. So, but we listen to a lot of those, like from Simon Sinek to Tony Robbins to books on sugar addiction, all that great stuff. Yeah. All that great stuff. So, yeah, they're really helpful. I like them all. What I want to know, though, like I asked, is what should we be packing for this road trip? Well, I think we have one set of cutlery each. One set. I got a fork. And a knife. I don't even need cutlery. You don't need a knife. I don't use a knife, really, do I? No, never. Pick that up with my hands. You just, yeah. You just chew your your food up. Okay, so we get one set of cutlery. Each, yeah. And if it's dirty? One plate each, one bowl each. We're going, like, minimal. One mug each. Yeah. I, I use the same mug all like, the time anyway. You're going to be like this Ben is, Affleck and the Accountant. That was a great movie we just watched. He just was very minimal. Cutlery, right, Eric? So, Savage. Yeah, we just watched the movie The Accountant last night. It was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. What was well, the other movie we for just... The, the bits I understood. <laughs> it was a little hard to follow. What was the other movie we just watched? Mm, snatched. <laughs> we watched Snatched. Oh, we saw Guardians of the Galaxy too. Oh, at the cinema. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we watched one over there though, recently. Well, we watched the first Guardians too. Well, that might have been a great... I like Guardians. I don't usually... I'm not into Marvel comics. No. Like, but... I know that's crazy these days for a guy. Just... It's too much. Well, some of them are just pure action and they just go on and on and on. But the Guardians of the Galaxy and then Deadpool, they're funny. Deadpool was good. Deadpool was good. Side note about that mug. I don't wash this. Whatever. I rinse it. Oh right. It's that's what gives it the taste. <laughs> oh, it's got like it's like, what, like a two uh, years of coffee stained in that. It's guard yeah guard like. Um, let me answer that question, AJ. So just so you know, if you're listening to the podcast, we're also live on Instagram, so we're a little distracted. It's a <laughs> lot going on, but um, we have a toilet on the camper because AJ is asking if we have a toilet. <laughs> exactly, Charles. But I have a feeling it's not a flushing toilet. So I don't know where everything goes. It might be in a bag. Like, I, I think, think it it's is. literally I a bag. It was a bag. So we had to have a... Like, we're like the dogs? <laughs> First of all... That's why we should bring Marley with. <laughs> so so we're going to get to... I mean, we see each other poop, let's be honest. Like, no. You, what do you mean? I saw you poop this morning. I tell you to get out the bathroom. And you're like, oh, you're so cute when you poop. You're so you are, weird. You are cute when you poop. <laughs> and you're like... Throw a massive wobbly if I come anywhere near the bathroom. Because I'm not cute. When I, men are not cute. When <laughs> hey, I don't want to be in that when you're pooping. You sneak in sometimes. But anyway. But, and I get, like to do work in the bathroom. You distracted me. I bring my computer in. <laughs> so anyway, we have a toilet, but I have a feeling it's like a bag. Yeah. It's not going to be a bidet like you're used to. Oh, I have a bidet. Just so a, bid- it, a bidet? Yeah, that's how you say it. I said bidet. Yeah, I have a bidet. <laughs> And um, best investment I ever made. <laughs> really? Oh, a hundred percent. What was that film that the that they had the toilet and that did all that? It was like a Japanese toilet. Oh yeah, why why him? Why him? That uh, was funny. But yeah, the bidet is great. It w- w- washes out your butt. It's beautiful. Um, I don't think the the we'll have a hookup for water, but I don't think the toilet gets hooked up. I don't know about that, Amanda. No, and if we're I don't know. Realistically, we're only going to need to use it overnight when we're in the camper, right? And then we'll be going to a gym or to a supermarket. So our kind of plan is like we're not going to necessarily stay at these camp stations. We want to stay at the boxes, like outside the boxes. From what we understand, you can stay at Walmarts and Cracker Barrels. Like the camper is pretty self-sufficient. Yeah. We'll see. I think think we should definitely take our little cooker that we have over there. Well, we have a... Stove and a sink on the camper, but we could take that thing. You yeah, mean like the toaster. So it's got the toaster on the it with pot. the coffee pot. Yeah, and um, and we'll take maybe one pot, 
And um, I like it very minimal, 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 super minimal. But we'll take a few supplies of food. I think. How many T-shirts should I bring? Oatmeal, bags of rice. Oh yeah, well we've got umqua oats. We got yeah. We'll have to go to like coffee. Well, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, like, we have just over a week to do all of this. We don't even have the camp. Yeah, and you're going away what next weekend? And I have to work next week. And we're doing a seminar this weekend in Orlando. Yeah, so it looks like Roz is going to be packing. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to pack minimal. I mean, I need to bring some work clothes because I'll still work seminars on the weekends. So I need to bring my red shirts. But how many t-shirts should I bring? If you're watching us on the stories, how much clothes do I need? I think enough for two weeks. Well, let's assume we're going to be gone. Our tentative plan, let's give everybody the scoop. We leave here on June 13th, which is a Tuesday. Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we're going to be gone tentatively to October 13th, can we say? Yes. Four months. So J July, August, right? Did I do that right? July, yeah. August, October. Four months. Now, then we come back and we'll have our... I'm banging. I'm banging? We'll have our wedding. We have a wedding to get ready for on November 4th. So we'll come back maybe for a week or two. Then do you want to... Drive to California? Yeah, we're driving to our wedding. Is that, t is that for real? Is that yeah. said? I want to use the camper as a photo booth. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then um, and then I want to like do all the parks when we're out in California, yeah, like yeah. under the stars, sleep in the mountains. So anyway. It's beautiful that time of year. Right. So we'll, we're gone on the road for four months before we come home because I got to grab the tux. Yeah, I got to grab my dress. Do you have it? No, I tried it on. We, we'll do the alterations, they say, six weeks before the wedding. They had to let that booty out? No, not with my dress. Not yet? No. No booty gains? <laughs> um, so, four months. How much? <laughs> what kind of wedding dress do you think I'm getting? <laughs> what do you mean? That, that maybe just you've been squatting a lot. I have. Oh, because it's puffy at the back. Is that well, what you said? <laughs> I, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> that picture you put up on our Instagram. That was very fitted. But that wasn't your actual wedding dress. No, that wasn't People my... lost their shit. Yeah, no, that was not my actual dress. All right. Jason has not seen the dress. I'm not. You tried to. You tried to get me to go with you this weekend. I did. I said no. Well, we don't... We share pretty much everything. I know. I just didn't feel like going to Fort Myers. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to chill out, lay by the pool, listen to my podcast. <laughs> anyway, All right, moving no one's on. giving us an answer on how many t-shirts I should bring. Well, I think... Two weeks worth of clothes? So like head to toe, two weeks worth? I'd say, I'd say like maybe six or seven t-shirts. That's not two weeks worth. That's six or seven days worth. Yeah, but then I'm talking about sweaters and, I don't know. Two Guys weeks. dress differently. Polly's girl says two weeks is good. Two weeks, okay. I think that, like 14 pairs of underwear. Yeah, 28 definitely. socks. T-shirts. I mean, some things like jeans and shorts I'll wear repeatedly and rinse off. And we're going to be like, like you said, so our, what I was saying is we're going we're gonna to park the camper at play. It's got a plug, so you plug it in and then just to a regular outlet, and it runs. Exactly. So, I mean, we can plug it in anywhere, so long as there's an outlet, we plug in someone's house in the kitchen. Yeah. Just run the cord out the door. Exactly. Um, <laughs> 28 days, Amanda, you're crazy. That's, that's what you would do, but that's too much. You haven't seen this camper. So. 28 day outfits. Yeah, wow. she, that's too many. She, <laughs> she is not understanding 70 square feet. We just don't have enough room for that. I mean, ideally, I think it would be enough, st like, stuff that fits in one of those, like, carry-on. Yeah, we got to fit like, in our, cases. Because I also have to be prepared to travel elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So, we'll figure that out. You might need to take 28 days because you're a girl. No. I went traveling last year, and I literally just wore the top half of my suitcase. I know what my favorite outfits are. I don't. I know. I need to pack minimal. I wear the same three shirts. Mm -hmm. Yesterday at the box, Ryan was like, "You wear the same shorts every day." Well, you do. I do. They're just comfortable. So anyway, hmm. what was I saying? I was saying we can plug in anywhere, and it's got air conditioning, <laughs> which is going to be nice. It's really not going to be so terrible as I think you imagine. So I mean, no, we're going to be glamping. I don't think it's going to be terrible as far as. The it's accommodations. Gonna be, it's going to be cramped. It's going to be tight. So we're not. We're probably not taking the dogs. That's tight, not even tight. Tight quarters. Yeah. 
So anyway. But yeah, we got we got uh, a whole bunch of seminars. Yeah, we've got. Now. Let's go through them. We what? So what? We're away this weekend. We're at um, CrossFit MDI on Saturday. And then in Orlando, and then we've got a couple closer to home Sphinx CrossFit. Tuesday, the yeah. day after my birthday. If you're just tuning in, maybe we'll have some birthday cake with those guys. My We've bir- been there a couple times now, right? Yeah, I've done seminars there yeah. a couple times. It's Conrad's Box at Fort Myers. And, and then LW CrossFit. LW. I'm excited. I haven't seen this CrossFit. Yeah, that's yet. our buddy Stu started at um, off of uh, 41. And, you know, it's kind of Benita. Right. And it's right. LW, it's, it's adjacent to a church. So I probably can't curse during that seminar. I'll little. try to keep that under wraps. Stu. Uh, Sometimes I just like to drop an F-bomb. I know you do. <laughs> a well-placed F-bomb really does a lot. But congrats to Stu, by the way. Got engaged. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. So our boy Stu, I met, him at, I met him at CrossFit Fireball. Uh, he came down to Estero from um, Pennsylvania with Tyler. And now is, uh, oh, there, Tyler's right on there. LW is neat. And now he's engaged. Crazy. I like it. Leanne says bring six or seven t-shirts. Find a laundromat. Thanks, Leanne. I we're like going to go with you. Tyler's we'll on there. Find a laundromat, yes. I told Tyler we're going to grab some Chipotle with him before oh, we yeah, leave. Oh, yeah, for sure. So. Um, I haven't had Chipotle in ages. That was one of our first dates. Remember we were in, where were we, like New Jersey? Uh, Muncie? It wasn't. <laughs> no. It wasn't Muncie. It was on the way back from Muncie. No, it was, it was, uh. It was because we were staying. It was after the one in Parsippany. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Parsippany, New Jersey. So then, after we have these local ones, two pants, five t-shirts, two polos, one button down, three gym shorts, three three socks. <laughs> how, how many legs do I have? Three three feet. <laughs> Who is that? That's Charles. He goes to uh, cross. I like Sarah. this. This, Seven underwear. I like how specific. I mean, that's pretty spot on. I'm assuming you mean three pairs of spots. My town, where you at? Parsippany or Muncie, Mitchie? 0829. So anyway, then where do we head off to? Uh, so we got that uh, that seminar lined up at Synergy Fitness, Sarasota. That's Justin's. Then back to CrossFit South Orlando. Right, so once we head out on the Tuesday the 13th. That's it, we're on the road. Tell if we're, we'll be back in Parsippany because we're gonna stop yeah. at uh, Scott's place again. Pump. Yeah. So then, so yeah. So once we hit the road for Synergy, we're making our way to Orlando. So look at that. We have Synergy to South Orlando Wednesday to Mousetrap Thursday, which I think is in, right, right next door to Disney. That's cl- I've been there. That's um. I'm excited. It's very close to Disney, and then we have Lake Nona that Friday. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in Orlando. And then um, I work a seminar. And then we and we're then we heading up to, to, towards Jacksonville, St. Augustine. Because then we got we have to make it to Georgia that weekend, no? I was just going to ask you when we're going to be in uh, Georgia. So, so I have in, a family friend who's in Atlanta right now. Well, this is July. For, I think July 1st. Oh, I think she's going to be there for a couple months. So we go to um, Georgia because we have a box, a seminar drive, and then... Um, and then we're in Georgia Crossing that weekend. CSG, July 12th. That's not until July, but between then and July 12th, we have Dry Fitness, we have Hunter's Creek, and we have Zoo all over the place. What when a is busy it? month. Sarasota is June 13th, Charles. Tuesday, June 13th at Synergy. And if you're listening to this on our podcast or you're on Instagram, all of this is at ownyoureating.com. If you click on shop and then you go to tour tickets, You'll see all of our tour tickets. And we have a a bunch more, actually, that are in the works that I've been talking to. So I've been responsible for getting all these tour dates. Keep checking back because we're we're putting more tickets live as and when these seminars are getting scheduled. Absolutely. So um, hopefully we'll see most of you there. Yeah. Let's let's go to those questions. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot. We have some questions. Let's do it. Yeah, you put it out there yesterday. I put it out there. We got five minutes because you have to hop on a call, don't you? Yeah, we got we got a little longer. Just All right. over five minutes. Let's, so if you have questions for us, ask on Instagram. If you're listening to this podcast, I put out there. Hit that, and um, we'll answer some of the questions. So the first question, let's answer both of these. Brought to you by my boy Eric Martinez. Eric, I know from uh, Jiu-Jitsu. Awesome dude. Very proud of this kid. He has two questions. The first one is Coke or Pepsi. I said Coke already. 
I don't care. I know that's... I don't drink soda. Right. I mean, not only do I not really drink soda, if I did, I would drink a diet, but I don't, I don't distinguish the difference between Coke or Pepsi. Well, I can tell you, if you're drinking full fat, regular Coke or there's Pepsi... No, there's no fat. Well, what, sorry, full sugar, whatever. Yeah. I don't know why. That's, isn't that funny? Where did that come from? People say full Maybe fat. Maybe you have fattening soda in England. But that's what they call it. It's weird. Well, yeah. Anyway, the full deal... Um, Coke definitely to my taste buds is superior. Really? To Pepsi. See, I like. Yeah, it's sugary. Yeah. I you know I actually <laughs> agree with Charles who said Diet Dr. Brown's cream soda. I was gonna Never say had that. I was gonna say give me a cream soda or a root beer I, over a Coke or Pepsi. All right, I gotta try that. I've never tried one. Yeah, A and W back in the day, like when I was a kid, A and W. I also like. Vanilla Coke. Diet Vanilla Coke. You cannot find it at many places. I've never heard of that. Well, you get, like... I actually like Coke Zero. The black label one? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, you, the different flavors have different colored labels, and the Diet Vanilla Coke used to have, like, a silverish label, so... Back in the day, I, I was... I would drink Diet Coke like water. I'd have, like, five or six cans a day. Isn't that weird? I don't drink soda at all. I mean, a lot of people do that. I don't think that's ideal for your health, but... Oh. All right. So, uh, Coke? Uh, <laughs> uh, and then what he asked, Oreos or Chips Ahoy? You torn? I actually struggled with this one. <laughs> I, I'm not struggling. Like I, the, the quick, easy answer for me is Oreos, but I do like Chips Ahoy. Me too. I like soft chocolate chip cookies, though. Me too. Like Chips Ahoy sometimes. I was thinking if that was a choice between Oreos and, like, Subway cookies, which are nice and, like, chewy. Subway cookies, you're not, like, where I grew up, not where I grew up, but I went to school in Albany, there's a plant that was called Fryhoffers. If you're watching this, Fryhoffers, and it would be, I don't know if it was a Northeast thing, because they had them when I was a kid. I, I agree, Charles. But they had it when I was a kid. It would come in a box, like a beige box, clear opening so you can see into it. And you would open them up and they'd be these little cookies, but they were so soft. Hmm. So soft. So if you're – does anyone know what I'm talking about? Fryhoffer's cookies? So good. What was the one that I had the other day? Spunkmeyer? Spunk – oh, Otis Spunkmeyer? That's so it. They're similar to that. But that's a bigger cookie. That's, well, that was good. Uh, see, I it is a Northeast thing. Eric, Eric knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, fry offers. So those are the best. These little right. you would love them. Well, we've got to have them when we're up there. Yeah. All right. Maybe some uh, more more of a which one? Let's go to Conkle's question. Which fictional <laughs> character would be the most boring to meet in real life? This is a hard question. I don't know enough fictional <laughs> characters to answer that. <laughs> Do you? I don't know. I mean, the only one that came to my mind just quickly was Holden Caulfield from The Catcher in the Rye. Really? That that came you Well, just because he's like this crazy young kid. Uh, and probably because it's one of the only books I read when I was in high school. Like This guy does not like reading. No, I like reading, but books that I like. Right. I like reading uh, business books, and I like reading biographies on people I like. <laughs> what about it? What about blasphemy? What is it? What? I mean, he's a crazy character, but I think he would be, like, boring. And, and again, I think I only said it because I don't know enough fictional characters. I mean, I, I guess you can look at the movies, like the character and the account. Yeah, Rassi. maybe, like, do you associate that book with being boring? No, I love The Catcher in the Rye. Right. Like, that was truly... You know, when you're, I remember, like, freshman year in high school, you had to read uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, I had to read that, too. What was it, Little People or something, was it called? It wasn't Little People. It was, like, <gasps> it's Charles Dickens. You should know. Oh, it. um, I can't think. Right it's now. something people, I want to say, or something little. Little something. <clears throat> Point is, I didn't read it. Little Women? It might be Little Women. Is it? <laughs> is that a TV show? No. <laughs> so, anyway, the point is... The Catcher in the Rye was the only book I read. And I loved it. I got into it. I enjoyed reading it. They should not... I don't know what the deal is this day and age in high school, but they shouldn't force you to read some books. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just too much. Like, let kids enjoy the book. Like, make them read, but let them choose some of the... Maybe give well, them I a think genre. You should have the, I think you should have a choice. I agree with that because I remember one of my English teachers was really into old school English type literature and he yeah. made us read Chaucer, which <laughs> for all you Americans out there, go Google Chaucer. Holy cow. I wanted to like, it was so dull. And then he also made us read, um, I think it's John Milton. I forget the book, but like, seriously, really boring text. But if they would have said, Hey, read, Very a, dry. read this biography on this, on Hulk Hogan. I'd have been like, hell yeah. Well, yeah, and the, but then my other English teacher was really cool, and he liked a lot of American literature, and so we read cool things like uh, The Great Gatsby. And, oh, that's and, not good. Well, I, I enjoyed couldn't read that, the but like other stuff, you know, as well. He, and I, Give me a good James Patterson novel. Mm. James Patterson? Mm -hmm. It's like a thriller. Yeah. You've probably hit a bunch of them have been turned into some movies. Okay, let's one answer more one more question. Let's answer a nutrition question. Which one do you want to answer? I think this was a good question. What do you think? Okay, go ahead. You can read it. All right, so Allison would like to know, um, uh, how do you fuel early workouts if you're saving most of your macros for a later part of the day? So, i.e., she works out in the mornings, but she's going out for dinner. And she wants to save her macros for Mexican, I think. How do you refuel properly after you work out? Great question. Do you want to take it since you're a female and this is a female? And then I'll throw my two cents. Well, personally, I think whenever you're going, you know that you're going out for dinner, I think you always have to be aware of getting a sufficient amount of protein with not going over your carbs and fats. So we know that carbs and fats are very easy to come by when you're out eating. Um, so I would definitely make sure that I take on some protein after my workout. Plus it just helps me like to, to have some protein spread out through the day. It means I can hit my protein amount more easily and um, it helps me just feel more full as well. So I would definitely take on some protein and I would probably have some carbs, but I would save the majority for later in the day. And I would check the menu and figure out what I wanted to have and plug that in in advance as well, just to give myself a better idea of where my numbers are going to be. Right. I think that would be the biggest thing. I would work the problem backwards exactly. and start with, all right, we're going out to Mexican tonight. Yeah. And is it a chain? Right. Could, is it potentially Let's in the Let's say app? it's not because most, you know, a lot of, actually down here you get a lot of chain Mexican restaurants, but say, say, you, say you don't and you're like, okay, but the menu's online and I want to have this. Burrito. I, mm. I don't really know the difference between a burrito and enchilada, and uh, something to do with like the sauce where on the sauce top is. and well, the cheese and. But let's say we got a burrito. I'd probably mm. you know Google it or look up the size of it somehow and do my best guess of what was in it. And if you have a burrito from a Mexican restaurant, chances are it's going to destroy your fat, mm. cheese, and you know guac and sour cream, whatever yeah. else is in it. So it's just going to destroy your fat. Which is fine because post workout, I'd be focusing on protein and, and carbs anyway. Yeah. Like you'll get a substantial amount of carbs from that. Rice, you might have some chips. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a margarita, but you're not going to get all of your protein at a Mexican restaurant. No. So work that problem, figure out what you're going to have. Post workout, probably get 20 to 30 grams of protein, equal amount carbs, if not a little bit more. Yeah. And then just fill in the gap. Midday. Mm -hmm. So that's how it answered, Allison. Hope that helps. And and he, and here's a big, 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 big picture from it is I wouldn't lose my mind. I think one thing that Roz and I have really learned ourselves and we preach to others is enjoy it, track it. Yeah, and I think as well a big takeaway is like I used to be one of those people that thought I had to crush a protein shake immediately after finishing a workout. Otherwise, my muscles were just going to wither away. In reality, that's not true. Like, it's, it's just not how it works. So, you know, if this is one day, I'm guessing that you're not going out for dinner to Mexican every single night. It's one day. Like, maybe just push that window of when you're eating. Really, I think if you're getting your protein and some carbs in, 
even three hours post-workout, that's still like up to three hours post-workout, it's still somewhat beneficial. Uh, yeah, there's studies that are showing like that window is not like eight minutes Yeah, like I think there's so many things out there that say, oh, you must get your shake in within 30 to minutes to an hour after your workout. And like we found, I've been successful with not stressing myself out about nutrient timing and just making sure I'm hitting my macros. And I mean, if you saw my latest transformation picture i'm still making progress still leaning out and uh yeah don't stress about it yeah and i don't know allison that well i'm looking at her facebook right now to know if Ooh. she's a you know she's doing some sort of planche in her profile picture but i don't know if Very she's cool. a, from north adams massachusetts not far from me now she lives in greenville which is where john evans lives but anyway I feel like we're stalking out we are but uh <laughs> oh she says cross it right in her intro so point is i think for a lot of crossfitters especially it's like they lose their mind over like i just did a you know you know like yesterday for example we did a tough workout five minute amraps three of them five minute rest very high intensity moving you know large loads long distance quickly a lot of reps it was 15 minutes, though. Yeah, you know, in it was total. Like, we, didn't ha- like, we didn't eat for two hours after it, and I smoked myself. Like, I was beat. Did the best of the box. Just throwing it out there. Um, <laughs> Did you? I don't. Maybe, maybe Jake beat me. I think Jake might have beat me. but uh, The other fittest couple. <laughs> yeah, Jake and Allison. Damn you. Um, but the point is, like, you know, unless you're training for hours and hours, don't lose your mind over, like, I need to get that protein in immediately sure it's important but it's not like you're not gonna die exactly you're not gonna die all right good timing because they're back they're about to start doing something in our backyard so let's hop off we got phone calls we hope you've enjoyed if you've been watching us on instagram thank you we'll see you on the tour if you've been listening to this entire podcast we appreciate you check out the happier camper like we told you earlier uh look them up on instagram really cool stuff um Anything else we wanted to give a shout out to? Yeah, just let us know if uh, check out the tour tickets um, page in the shop uh, for seminar tickets and and let us know if you would like us to come and visit your box or yeah. gym or yoga studio, whatever yeah. it may be. If you own a box, if you go to a box, if you know someone at a box, <laughs> hit us up, DM us on Instagram, shoot us an email, contact at ownyoureating.com, mm-hmm. and uh, we look forward to meeting all of you on the road. Like I said, new car, new camper, we even got a hitch. So we did this <laughs> so we can meet you guys, so let's make it happen. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy your Mexican, Allison. <laughs>